Good morning. I'm currently getting ready for my Pilates reformer class. I decided to go with the brown outfit today and I thought I would take you along with me this week because I scheduled some appointments because the last few weeks were really stressful so I thought I needed a little bit of wellness. First my parents moved so I had to help there. Then we moved with the office and lots of other things. I especially set some appointments in winter because I have a dermatologist appointment that I would rather do in winter of this because of the sunlight. So this week I will take you to my normal workout classes. I have a IV drip appointment, um, the dermatologist appointment and I even will go to the hairdresser. So it's a lot this week but yeah I really felt like I need to pack it all in one week, have a self-care week, then I'm ready for whatever's coming. <laughs> dermatologist because I have something uh, that I want to get rid of <laughs> it's like a fibrome I don't know if that's a correct word in English so yeah that's why I have the appointment at the doctor today So that was super quick. I got rid of a fibrome I have got since I was a little baby. So yeah, we cut it off before summer because it was so annoying. <laughs>
I have to say that I don't drink coffee very often. I think at most it's once a week, but not even that. Just when I crave coffee and today I walked by Ross Coffee and I was like, oh yeah, today I need one. And then I saw the almond croissant in the window and I had to get one because I love it. Almond croissants are my guilty pleasure, it's so nice. And it's actually quite nice that I took myself on that little solo date because as I'm in a relationship, I don't do that very often because I either go out with my partner, friends or family. Because in the past I did that a lot more often and actually this is giving me major flashbacks because I'm literally sitting right in front of the building I worked uh, a few years ago and that was the time when I went on solo lunch dates with myself a lot more often so a little yeah turn back time Wednesday and Valentine's Day so we will go to dinner later tonight but first I will have a micro needling appointment today in the first half of the day and after that I have to go to work I don't know that was not very intelligent to set this appointment on Valentine's Day because I don't know how I will look after micro needling but we will see I never tested micro needling but I want to get rid of all the yeah sebum I have in my pores because I don't have a lot of acne but normally I really only have enlarged pores and yeah I hope that perhaps the microneedling can help with that so we will see if that works but first I have to take off my makeup and then I will go to my appointment. <music> treatment I think you can see that I'm still a little bit red but it was very good it didn't hurt at all so it actually was really relaxing um, yeah I'm still a little bit shiny because I have a silver mask on and they told me to leave it on until tomorrow so I leave it on my skin for tonight and that's why I'm a bit extra shiny but yeah I think the redness will go away in a few hours and actually it looks really good and the, the lady that did my micro needling also told me that there is another treatment it's called microdermabrasion in german i'm <laughs> not quite sure about the name um, and she told me that that would also be very good for my skin so that's something i will um, test next time i think but yeah i'm actually quite pleased with the result I have now. I'm excited to see how it looks tomorrow if I get a lot of breakouts because the dirt wants to come out. Let's see. I had a micro, uh, hydra facial before, I think a year ago, and after that one or two days my skin got wild. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that won't happen with this time, but it's okay. It's only for a few days, yeah. And uh, they also told me that so I know that, but I can do a, a lymphatic drainage in their studio too. So that's something I will really want to do because yeah, I have so much lymph liquid in my face I ever had. I always have that. And yeah, I also have, I don't know, oops. So I have it here. I have this, this Gua Sha thing. But I don't use it as often as I would need to, <laughs> so I should probably do that more often. But I'm a bit lazy, so I think I will book a lymphatic drainage soon, <laughs> so <laughs> some other person can do that for me. I'm still in the office, but I'm going to head home soon because today is Valentine's Day and my boyfriend and I have a tradition where we go and eat truffle pizza 
every Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't know why, but we went uh, at the restaurant where they serve very good truffle pizza for our first Valentine's Day. And then <laughs> Kylie is here. <laughs> and then we went, uh, also went for the next year. And then we thought like, well, why just not make a tradition out of it? So yeah, we now go and eat truffle pizza every Valentine's Day. And I'm very excited because it's so yummy and I love truffles. Oh. Hello! It's Friday today and I'm currently on my way to an appointment. I'm getting an IV drip. <laughs> I'm a little bit early to my appointment and I have to say I'm kind of excited because I never ever had an IV drip and I'm getting a custom one so it's yeah made especially for my needs and we will see what I get I'm thinking or I hope for NAD and a vitamin B complex but we will see. I normally don't eat breakfast and I actually don't have a problem with needles but just in case I ate a protein bar today but yeah, we'll see. It can take between 60 to 120 minutes, so I don't know what my body is saying to that. So I now spoke to the doctor and we decided on a reverse aging treatment. <laughs> I think you can't start early enough so yeah i'm excited and i don't know if you can see it but it's actually so beautiful here it's i love it already So as you can see, I have my IV drip now. It's like, I actually can feel it. So the doctor already told me that I can feel it in my heart a little bit and I really do, but it's not a, it's a kind of weird feeling, but not painful at all. And I, I actually like that feeling. It's like, it feels like it gives me energy, completely crazy. But now, I, uh, now I'm in the room, it's called Mind Sphere here and yeah, it's relaxing. I have a blanket and I've got water, I've got headphones because they told me that I can um, make a meditation and it's completely relaxing. It's so nice. <laughs> I think I have to do that every once in a while because I'm sitting here like five minutes now, but it's really nice. I love it. It's yeah, like a little me time <laughs> and while I'm getting really good things into my body. Love it.
So I did a meditation now because they have created meditations that you can do while you are <laughs> sitting here and waiting. And I loved that one. It was so relaxing. I actually could fall asleep right now. I really liked it. And I have to say, I really would like to get more into meditation because a few months ago, or I think even a year ago, um, I kind of regularly did some meditations, but I stopped and I actually do like it, but I never make time for it. And that was so nice. I even I brought the book with me. I don't know. I will be sitting here for a while. <laughs> There's still enough fluid that has to go into my body. So I will see. I will try. Perhaps I will go on Instagram and social media, but I really will try to make that me time for me and use that time really to relax because it's so nice. It's really, really nice. Love it. So I'm now on my way home. I finished and I loved it. I will definitely do it again. It was so nice and I had a mixture with NAD+. Plus. I can tell you a little bit more about that. It's yeah, also called the longevity molecule and I really liked that. And it was kind of funny because the doctor already told me that you can actually feel it in your heart when it goes into your body and I really did. It's, <laughs> I hope you can hear me because of the wind, but it was a really funny feeling. But yeah, for me it felt good because I knew it is a good and positive thing for my body. But I liked it. I will definitely, as I said, do it again. I don't know how often, but love it. Hello, hello. Today I have a hairdresser appointment, which I really look forward to because my roots are actually very dark. So my natural hair color is like a dark brown and then you can see the lighter parts because we always made blonde highlights and my hair is so short and I really would love to have a little bit longer hair. I will try to embrace my natural hair color and stop coloring it so perhaps my hair gets a bit more gains a bit more strength and it can grow a little bit longer i really hope that works because yeah i don't know what else would <laughs> hi charlotte from the future i saw that i totally forgot to film after the hairdresser appointment but I have a photo which I insert now and yeah, I can just say I'm really happy with the result. My hair never was that dark, but I really like it. Good morning, it's Sunday and Sundays are always my rest days. <laughs> so we just go for a really long walk with Kylie and maybe if I like to, I stretch in the evening, but yeah, it's... A really relaxed day and yeah after our walk and breakfast brunch uh, I actually spent most of my time in the kitchen preparing healthy snacks or yeah just doing meal prep for the next week and today I will make bueno bars I think so I can take you with me and show you what normally I do Snickers but I decided to do bueno bars this time
are for making treats for the next week and today we are going to make some bueno bars they look something like that i have a recipe i follow and i already prepared my date caramel because i made another kind of treat uh, two days ago i can actually show you These are little chocolate hazelnut pralines, I would say. In, in Germany, we have this, these treats and they are called Ferrero Küsschen. And yeah, these are like the similar but healthier version and they are actually so, so good. I, uh, this was the first time I made them and they turned out really <laughs> yummy. So even my boyfriend loves them. So the yeah most important step is already done. That's actually quite nice. Uh, yeah, I can perhaps even put that directly in there. I now have to make my flour from with uh, oats and cashew nuts for the base. Yeah. One gram too much, but that won't be a problem. Cashews. Oh, I hope that this are 80 grams. One, two. Is that one the last? Oh, wow. I had exactly okay 79 grams in there and I need 80 so perfect so we have one gram oats more and one gram less cashews I think that's not a problem dun, dun. I don't know why, but watching something like nuts or oats turning into a flower is so satisfying. <laughs> That's probably a little bit awkward, but I like to watch that. Next is hazelnut butter, I think. but yeah I don't know why but I don't like the feeling <laughs> so next step I'm not sure if I need all of this I got them new so I don't know how or if that works with them but we will see sure how much is enough okay that's probably a little bit less and it still does stick to my fingers and not to the tray okay I think I will definitely don't need the second silicon tray I decided that I will only do that one tray because I don't see the sense why I should use that one for only one or two bars so if I have something left I will top on on some other bars because I have these two three actually 
don't have a lot of dough. So I will use that. This is how it looks now. And now I will spread the cadet caramel on it. And that's the middle part and it's so yummy. I also already mixed uh, another little bit of hazelnut butter into the caramel, so mm, so good. I really want to spread it out evenly because it would be sad if you take it out and on the edges there is no caramel. Still have a little bit of the date caramel left. Maybe I will keep it and use it for my breakfast yogurt bowl or something like that. Now we will spread some roasted hazelnut on top and after that I will put it in the freezer and the last step will be chocolate but the chocolate will only go on if the caramel already is frozen because otherwise it would mix looks really good already I hope you can see it and now it's on it will go into the freezer oh my gosh I kind of placed it evenly <laughs> I hope it works and actually the date caramel is so yummy I could eat that like a dessert but yeah I will keep it and we will see us for the last part mm -hmm. 